So I have finally set up this Shelly in detached mode to toggle the light. As you can see, the switch toggles the light via Home Assistant. But if Home Assistant is offline, I still want this light to work. So this script will check that the light is connected to Home Assistant and that the light has changed. And if it hasn't, or if it can't access Home Assistant, then it will toggle the internal relay of the Shelly. To demonstrate this, I'm going to disconnect Home Assistant from the network. And now we should hear the relay in the Shelly toggle. And that is because the script can't connect to Home Assistant, so it decides to just toggle the relay directly. The script also allows for a case when Home Assistant can be reached, but the light entity is either not available or not responding in the correct way. So Home Assistant is now online again, as we can see. But I have changed it to a different light that doesn't exist. And so we'll see again. It takes a little bit longer this time, but this allows for a case where someone has changed the light bulb or Home Assistant is working but has sort of crashed or anything like that. Um, this will allow the light switch to still work as a dumb light switch. And finally, for anyone asking why go to all this trouble rather than just use the on-off switch as intended, the reason for that is because these are tunable bulbs, so they go all the way from warm white all the way to a really cool white. We have it set up that throughout the day, after sunset, the light tone gets warmer and the brightness starts to go down. Now, if we weren't turning them on and off through Home Assistant, then every time we turn the switch on at the wall, the bulbs would default to their on at full brightness stage. Now, because we're doing this, every time the bulb gets told to turn on, Home Assistant jumps in the middle and it tells the bulb uh, what brightness to be and what color temperature to be. What that means, for example, is if the house is in sleep mode, then when the lights are turned on, whether that be from Home Assistant or from the switch, they will turn on at a very low brightness. But if there's something wrong with the system, then we're still going to have working lights. It's just they'll be at a full normal brightness rather than doing all the smart stuff.